hello you guys i am trying you don't know how many times i've tried to make this video the lightings have gone here on me while i'm trying to make this video doing my makeup while doing it i'm using natural light and it's it's evening time now and the the room light is becoming crazy i'm in china for you guys who, who, who would like to know where i am so i just wanted to talk to you guys before the end of the year and just sort of summarize this year and just like have a girl chat you know and the things that i'm gonna be talking about is sort of just like i'm going to be pretending as usual the way i usually do my videos is i pretend that i, I pretend that i'm actually talking to my 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 friends <laughs> Well, you are my friends, like you there on the social media. So, the year 2019 is going to be a different year. 2018 has gone, is gone. It's almost like a, a couple of hours for it to go. You guys, lighting is going to be crap on this video. Forgive me. Honestly, just like forgive me and ignore, ignore the makeup, ignore everything on this video. So... The year 20, you know, one day somebody, somebody was, you know, some, sometimes, you know, you guys, okay. Most of my viewers are African women and you guys, some women can be super opinionated, like, especially the things they say that doesn't make sense. I don't know whether it is that I am just like getting older and sort of being wise in a sense of i'm not saying i'm wiser than anybody but i'm just like sometimes some comments are just unnecessary like even if you have to comment regarding for somebody somebody's video like i don't see the point of commenting some things you know some woman was just like looking at my makeup like obviously i was using a mac mac makeup and she was telling me that my makeup looks like uh it's fake mac i was like sis <laughs> oh god may god forgive you it is well it is well father father in the mighty name of jesus it is well like are you i, I just look to you i just look like somebody who uses fake makeup you know like my mark i buy them i buy my makeup at the airport duty free and she she looked at my mark lipstick and said it's a fake mark lipstick and i say it is well it is well give me the original one sister oh you 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 sister of mine give me the original one but anyway that is not the case the case is i'm gonna make this video and i'm gonna talk to you guys and the lighting is kind of crap so this video is gonna be a work video but do, do not mind it so before i bore you guys to death i want to say that obviously 2019 2018 to me has been a year a year that i just don't feel like i i trusted god enough i don't feel like i re relayed my trust and my hope in god as much as i should and i leaned on to my understanding fully when it came in when it came to things and i let my feelings get on the way of of me uh sitting sitting down and kind of just like having my proper walk with god like because i i sort of like use my feelings a lot when I, i'm dealing with god and i just feel like i feel this way and i feel that way and you know like like i've been leaning on to my own understanding so much and i do understand that because the mark of ownership god's mark of ownership is upon my life i know that every time i am a born again person and every time i i will sleep here and there and i will get out of track here and there but god will always pursue me in a sense of i cannot hide from him like i cannot sometimes i feel my own understanding makes me feel like I can do things by myself. Like I can try and and uh, and hurry up the process of things in my life, and and I can try this and I can try this. Like the little bulb in your head always tells you to go ahead of God or to to kind of help God do things in your life, and 
and you know sort not and i have learned a lot of lessons in 2018 and that is not to go ahead of god's timing and also not to try as much as possible to to stick by the calling by which god uh, had placed upon my life when i gave my life to christ in the year 20 when i was um, 20 was it what, 19 1996 so i gave my my life to christ in the year 1996 i was a teenager that is when i just started being a teenager you know and i was just like i was just like in Ushago, living my life, you know, being a rural girl and all that. I hadn't known life, obviously, and I didn't have a parent, a mother, or even people to emulate in my life. Sort of just grew up and I was just like told, you better be like, you are a woman, you know, like, I didn't, no book was brought, no teachings, no nothing you are just alone somebody just gave birth to you and dropped you and like find your way through life and yeah you guys it's it's been a, a, a journey but i thank god through it all i don't want to blah 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 in this video but i just want to say that that i'm sort of finding my way through life and i have made a lot of mistakes through life and there are sometimes sometimes i sit back like now i'm sitting back and i'm telling myself that as much as i think that i can make it through life without uh, without you know like try to make it by myself i cannot be anything without the leading of god and without the leading of the holy spirit and i know you guys some some people are gonna say oh she's being so pretty pretty la 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 I'm like, one day you'll just come to find out what I'm talking about that. When you find your way in God and you find your way back to God and you sort of, you, 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 you learn what is your purpose in life. And it is not outside God. Your purpose is always inside God, whether you like it or not. Sometimes you don't know, you have not just realized it, but you are nothing without your creator. So the sooner we realize it, the better the life is going to be for us. And... I know there are people who are who doesn't know Christ like that, doesn't even care for it or whatever not. But I'm just talking based of my on my own experience. I've shared with you a lot of painful memories, painful painful experiences, a lot of things. And I usually wanna like life is about struggles and I struggle just as, like anybody else struggles a lot of people look at my life and probably might say oh she's always in these nice hotels and you know she's got a nice job and whatnot she's must got a, a nice life and whatnot and people usually conclude a lot regarding people's life especially people who are in the social media you just look at whatever you can see whether they have a man or whether they are doing this or whether they made a video uh with a man in the picture or whatnot you guys always like um uh, conclude that oh that is her boyfriend all that she's gonna get married and she have this person in her life and la 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 and you're like oh i wish you la 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 and you just i like it's nice to wish people all the best in life and all this but don't just jump into conclusion regarding things you know and i've made a video i've made videos and my videos are like sort of documenting my journey documenting my life and just talking through through them to you guys and some people have passed me along the way. I have rubbed a, a, a lot of people wrongly. They have decided to leave my channel. Some people have decided to join my channel again. Oh, God. <laughs> my hair is, is sort of, yeah. Some people have decided to join. Well, some, some people le left, but some people obviously decided to join my channel again. And, you know, because obviously they got trapped the wrong way and, you know, what not. But, you know, this is my life journey. And I've just noticed that African, us African women can be super, super judgmental. You know, somebody doesn't know my life, whether it is that I choose to share bits, bits of here and there about my life. Somebody doesn't know the real, real, like the real picture. But already they've jumped into conclusion and they have judged me and they have commented this up on my video and they've said, they've concluded, you know, as if they know the tea regarding my life or they know everything, every little detail without it. But then this is what comes with social media. 
you will always have people who will have their say but what is unfortunate is that people become judgmental like a lot judgmental like you know they always have something to to say whether be it that they are wrong they don't like you know i'm not gonna go through uh, in i'm not gonna go there but anyway i just want to say that that um i want to rely a little bit more uh, in god and i don't want to lean on to my own understanding and again something else that i i don't know whether i should talk to you regarding this but anyway this channel is about me talking about myself and and all that and i have been thinking to myself that things just don't happen in your life you know like 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 especially when you are making some some decisions do know that a lot of things that we make some decisions that we make end up affecting us in the long run Ge the generations and and generations to come some decisions that we make now we might just think that it's just about us but it's it could end up it's not it could it might it will end up messing up your future or messing up your generation and messing up what not and what not and i know that I just remembered that honestly, like things that just do doesn't happen in your life. And I've just been led. There's somebody who commented in my video and was just telling me that you have to look deep into your life because I feel like I, she felt like there is there is something, you know, you know, something that that might have happened along the way, whether be it somebody spoke evil or she she was just generally saying that there there's a there's there's somebody that must, might have done something in in the in my bloodline that is causing all the confusion or is causing uh, you know like like uh, she was saying the delay when it comes to meeting the right person and getting married or even like uh, like always meeting the wrong people because I, obviously I talk about this a lot in my channel giving my my experiences when it comes to dating on all notes and at first I was just like excuse me i'm the righteousness of christ like 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 whoever the son of god set free is free indeed like who the heck is she saying that has got somebody did like what was god doing when they were doing that like god was sleeping on what i'm a child of god nothing can harm or touch me okay that is true but then again i came to to realize that people don't just comment on your video sometimes there are some nasty comments but there are some comments that you have to look into so anyway from then onwards like i've always thought that what this woman is saying is true because some things that just don't happen in your life like for example i've been having since long time the very very strange dreams in my life you know they're very extremely like strange dreams sometimes i'm having a, a dream that somebody is like like i'm being chased somebody is things are chasing me or i'm dreaming with a dog or i'm dreaming with snake or i'm dreaming with a with a, like i'm just having like really random bad dreams and i'm always thinking to myself like these kind of things don't just happen you know so i don't I, I'm, I'm trying to like find out about the spiritual war, war, warfare when it comes to like life situations because you guys believe it or not there are people in your family in your generation that are selfish enough and are evil enough to actually do something in the in 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 life like in your family because of ignorance they probably are just doing it because they think it's gonna like do something some people do some evil things in the family out of ignorance and you don't know like for me honestly like i have a family member who i'm not gonna mention you don't know whether he's from my mother's side or she's from my dad's side or whatever i have big big huge family but this family member one time came i remember i was i was young and i remember her waking me up and 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 she believed that somebody bewitched her her husband and because her husband was sick and yada yada and you know those days people are just ignorant and her husband was 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 like was really doing well in the family and she kind of believed that somebody did something wrong to her husband and i remember she brought this this person like somebody to 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 like almost like this spiritual you know like i would not say that it's it's biblical the person she brought around was like 
people you know the people who wear long dresses and have beards and you know like they believe that they are lighting these candles and doing this magic and what what are these these things to, to actually remove whatever was was dark or whatever curse or juju that was spelled the spell that was casted upon the husband that is causing her family and everything so i saw this with my own eyes obviously i was a teenager at that time and i just like see this happening in the compound you know and i'm like she probably one day i will have to sit down with her and talk to her about this because i these things are just coming back and back to me. They are these kind of things that people do without realizing them, you know. And I don't know whether I was in the presence of it that I also got affected or some or this thing. I don't know what this was, you know. But in some case, I do know that some of these things happen. The family members usually bring these kind of things, thing, thing, you know, like a lot of things. And then whether be it like your grandma's grandma or some people like in your family were naive and, and, and went to the spiritual world to make some things, you know, happen and whatever not. And these things always like hunt and, and, you know, get back to the generations or whatever not. Because I know for, for sure I've had a lot of people talking or, you know, my aunties in the family saying, oh, this and this happened and, you know. And I also have friends whose, whose, whose families usually say, oh, this and this, my grandma was, my grandfather was doing this in the family and now this is happening to my children and this and this. Like a lot of things, you know. But again, you guys, when it came to, to me realizing that it's true that things actually really did happen, that have to have something to do with the spirituality my god the lighting is so horrible now i'm trying to find where there is a lighting this hotel room crazy anyway i'm just gonna talk to you guys better just listen to my voice yeah because now you can just see my silhouette you can't see me so it's okay you guys the lighting is horrible so yeah you guys and then I know these kind of things happen. I know people are evil out here. I've never ever thought to myself, my sister is also naive enough because even her, she feels like something, you know, like, like she almost like feeling like, oh, you know, like, like somebody did this and somebody did this because for her, she, she, she had, you know, like she, she had the father of her children and she believed that something happened that they were not getting along you know and things just happened you know i'm not gonna get into details and she kind of went to this person who prayed and made you know like helped her she believes that these people are helping her and even her me she told me i remember when i was in a relationship once she told me you know what bring your your men your men's uh, clothes or bring bring your men's uh, your men so that they can pray for for him and you know break any evil eye or you know things like this but i've never even you you guys i've never believed in this kind of things i've never even participated willingly you know like myself took myself there and light a candle or did this and that like i have never ever thought of doing things like this you know because to me like it just doesn't sit right with me but then i was led to listen to a lot of uh, spiritual um, uh, ministers here on YouTube there is one called is it Kevin Arwing somebody you know there's a lot of them here and they kind of just like like talk about it and they have biblical proof to speak that there is a lot of even in the Bible there is a lot of people who who do evil things you know and it could end up you know messing you and your family and sometimes uh, there are some people who also you know you end up some marriages end up in divorce or or you know and 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 children are involved and you know things end up happening or you are involved with somebody who who you know like a lot of things these type of things usually go from generation to generations you might be happy thinking that your children are not going to be affected or things there is something you know that you have planted a seed that you have planted from the beginning of it and your children are already in the midst of it so i remember when i spoke about something like this and i was saying that 
my dating life is very confused and i was just like thinking that i end up choosing men who are not for me at the end of the day and again it i say that it made me feel like it feels like somebody did something to me that uh, i end up only like meeting the wrong people and i end up you know like uh, the people lie to me again and again i end up believing them and whatnot and I say that it almost feels like there is some spirit of confusion or like somebody spells something or I mentioned the word juju or something like this. And then I remember there's this girl who was who, who, who took a script of this video and went took it back to his ch her channel and she went to talk about me and she was saying that that the reason why I'm not married until now is because I am I have been bewitched. And then the girls in the in her conversation African women, obviously, most of them are Nigerians. They were like saying that good for her. She's bewitched. I hope that Juju works even more further. She is uh, this and she is that. And she, she speak about this and she's, and I'm like, and I was just like, obviously when a woman start, tries to start up this kind of, 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 of feud, they are doing it not with good intention they are obviously doing it because they want to bring about certain gossips or certain people to comment negatively that is you know like they don't even get it but then i just feel like like us as women we can be the enemy of each other like my channel is based on talking about my life experiences and whether be it in dating whether be it about, about the decisions i've made in my life that i think that took a wrong turn um i believe in just like talking about my life and learning through each other you know but then if somebody is going to take clips of my video and use it for you know to to cause quarrels or to make it you know, I don't know, to paint a different picture to make, you know, a long story regarding this. So I was just feeling like a lot of women have it that they don't even know where their misfortunes are coming from. Whether it will be it misfortunes or failures or, 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 or diseases or you don't know what you're going to fall into even in the future. You know, you don't know what people have to be. And I, know, I believe that some people don't even know are not even equipped with God by themselves, themselves, you know. And even if you are equipped with God, you have to know how to go about this kind of spirits by soaking yourself in God a little bit further. Because if you are, you don't have any powers that is protecting you, unless you yourself, you are in the juju yourself. If you don't have any powers that is protecting you, you are going to fall. And you are also going to fall prey. Somebody, some things might just happen into your life that will be so strange. Because sometimes you feel like you are in a good standing for you to talk ill or to talk evil about another woman who is going through certain struggles in her life. And you don't know. And you have a shield, an age of protection in your life. Is it? Because I believe that if you, it is a God that you are serving, you are not going to speak about another woman in this sense. You are going to pray to her secretly in the secret of your room instead of opening a discussion about her and causing other woman, women to actually make sure that they bash her and say so many evil things about her life, meaning that you don't have God in you for you to even start this kind of this kind of nonsense in your platform you don't have god in you so that means that even you you are not protected with the messes that has gone into through your life you don't know if your children and your children's children's generation are going to be affected and even most of these women who talk like this a lot of women have a lot of misfortunes happens to them in their them lives you know some of these things they've brought it about themselves some of these things are evil spirits working against them and they don't know they don't have they don't know how to go about it as in to cause these things not happen to them obviously because they are living in ignorance and i believe that now that i am trying as much as possible to live in the light of God and to soak myself and to go under the rock of Christ and to soak myself in God because I believe that when you leave a doorway into your life, like, you, you, like you're not living right with God and there are a lot of things that you are doing that you just don't care. It's, it doesn't go line in line with the God that you profess you have in you. Then 
the things that you do will actually give the enemy the doorway to for this the things that people have cast against you or the words that have spoken against you or the way these women were actually cursing me and talking evil and saying may it affect her and may she be witched even witch you even more you know when you are not in god and you don't know your place in god these kind of curses actually follow you because you have let doorway the enemy has got a doorway by which he can come into your life to inflict you with so many things, whether be it things that people had done in your generation or generations of your forefathers or four sisters or four, 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 far, far beyond. You know, there were people who used to, you people in your bloodline used to worship certain gods that were not in line with the word of God. A lot of things that happened even before you were conceived that you'd have nothing, you don't know anything about. If you have not sealed your life and you are not living according to the God, to godly ways, you know, especially because you guys, this video is supposed to take really long. So God, yeah. But then I want to, I just want to talk. I don't care who's going to get this video and kind of this video is going to bless. I, wa I just want to talk. And I wanted to say that, for example, this video is going up and down all over the place but it's just like i'm just summarizing my thoughts in 2018 and just seeing where i've come and what i've come to learn i have come to learn a lot of things in life in my in my 30 plus years of living life and obviously i have a couple of years not not, not too many years i have a couple of years to reach 50 you know or to reach my 60 like i've already hit mid you know mid mid life crisis you know 35 plus is mid 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 life you know what i mean so anyway you guys and i'm just saying that i have learned that if i don't soak myself in god like for example when you say that you are in christ and you say that you live your life according to christ and you say okay for example i want to tell you guys that there is a doorway that i had opened whether i know it or whether i don't know it but there is a doorway that made the enemy get a door through my life to inflict me you know with the, whether be it by the form of all these dreams that i have been experiencing or things that happen into my life when it comes to like confusion or sometimes feeling low or just feeling a little bit depressed or not enough self-esteem issues not feeling like i am actually where i want to be to an extent i feel like i'm just like i cannot make proper decisions in my life this is just a spirit of confusion and obviously there is an the enemy has gotten doorway through my life to actually come into to, i kind of made this doorway and first of all when i say doorway you guys i love god and i am born again but again there is a lot of things in my life that I have let friends or influences let me think that is okay. Like at first, I was so rooted in God in an extent that I can't go to club. I can't, you know, having a boyfriend is a nonsense. Like, ain't no good we got a boyfriend because when you, the minute you have a boyfriend, you're going to be, to be um, like almost be in fact, like, you want to please them so much because you believe that if you please them, that is the only time they will stay. Whether it be it pleasing them, being your, giving them wife materials, you know, la la la. I have told you guys that, that I have been celibate, obviously. But be giving somebody wife materials is almost like you are with them, you want to kiss, you want to do other things that you not. You, you have, you, you, even though you haven't go deeper into having intimacy, like, like intercourse with them, but there are things that you are doing that... For some reason, you think that as much as I'm being celibate and I'm not having sex, I can do some things and God is okay with it. Like, honey, God is not okay with it. You are giving the enemy a doorway into your life to cause even further confusions into your life. Like this man got nothing, even, even your skin, a little bit of your skin. Because who are these men? Like, who are these men? Like, you are bringing different men into your life every time and... And each and every them you're having soul ties, soul ties, soul ties, and connections, connections spiritually with them. You don't know which kind of spirits these men are carrying when they are coming into your life now. Uh -uh. And then they come with these spirits, they leave them. They keep you getting tied, 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 tied. And you keep looking for more men to bring even more spirits into your life. Like these are kind of doorways, you know. So if you say you are celibate, but then you feel like, oh, I can still, 
do this and I can still have this and that with a man, you know, that I'm dating or kissing or, or foreplay or, or I can even like, um, uh, please myself like when it comes to like masturbation or things like this like i can do these things and you know god is not is okay with this like honey no god is not okay with this kind of things it's not okay these are the things that are making the enemy have no way into your life to inflict inflict you have you heard of something called spiritual husbands now nah? uh-uh. this is the kind of things that makes you have you know you are intertwined in the spirit so most of the time you know you don't know like you don't know why this and why that is not happening. Why is this and this is this? It's because you have made a lot of, you know, you have made a lot of the enemy has gotten a, a door path through your life to come and inflict you. And obviously you don't know, you know. You obviously don't know. So in most part is that if I say that I'm in Christ, I'm in, in Christ, not one leg outside, one leg inside. Things I can do sexually, things I cannot do sexually. No, you cannot do anything sexually until you're married. Otherwise... Either leave God or get inside God. Nah, uh, uh, there's no time for 50-50. What is this now? Nah, uh, uh. So I say to myself that I'm going to, I'm not going to chase after anybody, whether be it a man, whether be it friends. I'm not going to get any influence regarding my life into my life. Nobody is going to influence me to do things that is not right according to God's standing status. And I'm not going to look at other people and see that whatever is happening to them and kind of try to compare myself with them. I'm going to walk my path. People have sowed fruit, uh, seeds into each. A lot of people have sowed different seeds into their lives. Whether it be it that you're looking at their, their, another person's relationship or life, you think their life is better than yours or whatever not. People have so a cup, cup, certain fruits, uh, seeds that you probably don't want to associate with, you know. So even you, let, I'm, I'm just saying that whoever is going to live their life according to the way they let them do it. But according to me, I also want to live my life like this. So dig yourself deeper in God. This is what I've said for 20, 2019. Dig yourself deeper in God. Close all the door paths that the enemy is going to use to come inside my, your life and inflict you. And... Stay under the covering of God by getting covered. Then the enemy is not going to afflict me or you. So you guys, I think this video has taken too long and that was not my intention. I just wanted to talk. A couple of people usually complain that my videos are too long. But when you have something that you really want to talk about, you talk. Like you do not go by timing. If you don't have time to watch all my videos, watch it in half. If you are complaining in my videos that my videos is too long, I'm sorry. That is, it is what it is. If you don't like my videos because they are too long, it is what it is. There are people who actually like my videos. And I am sorry if this video is too long for you and maybe you didn't get any point for it. But I hope you guys like my effort in this video and you like what I talked about this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in next year and have a lovely day. Bye.